Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? No, no hemos comenzado todavía. Ah, ok. Ok. We are waiting for you. We were waiting for you. Ok, thank you. Ok, let's see how many are we in this moment. Six. Okay, we are going to start. We have um, we have two um, guests. We have to match the verbs that we have in these cards. We have to oh. find the pairs. Remember that we have done this before, because mm -hmm. and also, but also, I want you to take notes about the vocabulary that we have here. Immediately we have one couple take notes about the vocabulary, okay? Okay. Okay, we are seven now, yes. Okay, okay, so let's start. Let's start, you can tell me a couple of numbers to see if they match or not. Okay. Ching. Okay, tell me a couple of numbers. One. Five. Five and? Seven. Five and seven. Five and seven. One and eighteen. Eighteen. And one. Okay. One and eighteen. And two and four. Two and four. Seven. Uh huh. And twenty. Seven. 
and 20. Oops. One mm -hmm. and 20. One and 20. One and 20. Oops. Mm. Mm. Three. Uh huh. Um, eight. Three and eight. Uh -huh. Three. Three. Then I went. No. No recuerdo. Um, six. Okay. Okay, three and six. Okay, three and six. <laughs> Two and, six. Two, two and six. six. two and six. Two and six. Okay, let's see. Two and six. Yeah, you got the first one. Take notes. Road. Take notes. Okay. Whoa. This is the first one. Take notes. This is the first one. Next. <clears throat> mm, este... Nine? Nine. Nine and eleven. Nine and eleven. Nine and eleven. Good evening. Nine. One and nine. One and nine. No. Seven and eleven. Seven and eleven. Okay. And take notes. Escribanlo, escribanlo. This is the second. Okay. So this is broad, and the first one was a road. Two. Next. Uh, let me see. Five. Um, twelve. Five and twelve. Five and twelve. Twenty and twelve. Twenty and twelve. And okay, twenty and twelve. Let me move. Twenty and twelve. Twenty and twelve. Oh, yes, okay. Thought. Thought. Take notes. Okay. Thought. Mm. Okay. okay. 13 and... Okay, 13 and... Nineteen three. and okay, thirteen and three. Nineteen and oh. Oh. nineteen and <laughs> uh, for fourteen and nineteen. Okay, fourteen. And 19. Oops. Oops. Five and, and 13. Five and 13. Yes, you did it. Okay, next. Brock. Brock. Okay. Eight, okay. 18. 18. And 17. 18 and 17. Oops. Okay. 
Nineteen and four. Nineteen and four. Nineteen and four. Eighteen and four and fourteen. Eighteen and fourteen. Okay. Eighteen and fourteen. Cut. 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 Okay. Seventeen and nineteen. Seventeen and nineteen. Four and seventeen. Four and seventeen. No. Eight and, and ten. Eight and ten. Eight, ten. Three and seventeen. Okay, eleven. No, we don't have eleven. <laughs> we don't have eleven. <laughs> no, no. No, I say three uh -huh. and seventeen. Okay, three and seventeen. Oops. <laughs> Nine and seventeen. Na nine and seventeen. You say, Osvaldo? Yes. Okay, nine and seventeen. Oops, okay. Tot. Tot. Okay, next. Elsie, what did you say? Um, I see a row. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, one. One. And, 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 Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. One and fifteen. fifteen. Yeah. Okay. One and fifteen. Oops. Four and, and fifteen. Four and fifteen. <laughs> okay. Four and fifteen. Walk. One and one and three. Okay. One and three. Four. Four. Okay. Ten and nineteen. Ten and nineteen. Yes. But. But. And finally, draw. Draw. Okay. Well done, guys. Well done. Now, uh, do you remember which are the verbs? Yes. Did you did you take notes? Yes. Yes. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to write it in the in the chat box. Oh. Yes, in the chat box. I I I have them here. Okay. If you didn't take notes, I have them here. I have. Mm -hmm. But. Thought. But. Thought. Yes. Thought. 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 Brought. Walk. Oh. Road. 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 Okay, Road. but I'm going to show it. Road. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going yeah. to show it. Okay, I do, I do have them here, okay? Drugs. I'm going to show um, you. Drugs. Drugs. Yeah. Okay, so I'm yeah. going to repeat. But. But. Thought. 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 Cut. 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 Brought. Brought. Walk. 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 Road. Road. Drove. 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 Broke. Broke. Okay, we have 10 different verbs and these 10 different verbs 
they are in past. Okay? They are in past. What are we going to do is, first, here, I want you to tell me which is the verb for in the in the base form for but. This is past. Teacher. And in the base form, yes? Bye. Uh, yo eh, me confundo con el tout y el tout. Uh, no sé si, si se pronuncia. Se, se confunde con estos dos. Ajá. Con el tercero, okay. con el segundo y con el tercero. Ok. El segundo es tout. 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 Ah, le voy a poner, um, uh, digamos aquí. Um, Um, una pronunciación similar, ¿ok? Me. Tot. Tot. Y la tercera es different. El inicio. Esa Z en español. Y decimos thought. 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 Thought, thought, mm -hmm. thought. Okay. 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 So all of them are in past. I was asking you about what is the meaning and the the present form for both. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thought. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Let me see. Think. No. Oh. Thought. Wait a minute. Okay. So. Teach. Teach. That's Teach. it. That's it. Teach is a present form and mm -hmm. thought is a past form. Yes. Thought. What you say? Teach. Thought. In past, Think. which is the which is the present? Okay. Think. Think. Thought. Pot. We say bye. Ah, uh, fought. It is not bye. Fight. Fought. Ah. Fight. Ah, okay. I am both. Ah, no. Fight. Caught. Fight. Okay. Wow. Oh, veamos, veamos, veamos. Cat. Cat. Whoa. Brought. Brought. Okay. Brought. Oh, Bruce. 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 Bring. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Bring. Brat. Bring. Brat. Walk. Wig. Okay. Road. Right. That's it. Drove. Drive. 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 Break. Break. Okay, so these last four, they are kind of easier, right? The most what difficult is, ones? What is coat? Coat, como se escribe? This? This. this. Number five. Okay. Cut. Cut. The present mm -hmm. is catch okay okay 
Okay. Okay. Now that you have the present form and the past form, we are going to do something. In this moment, what we have to do is from um the ten uh the ten verbs, we are going to write down in this moment with uh you are going to work with with your classmates you are going to write down five uh sentences in affirmative and in negative and the other five you are going to write down questions yes with five Because verbs and negatives. Las mismas affirmatives, you do them in negative. Con los mismos cinco verbos. Okay? With the other yeah. five verbs, you are going to write down the yes, no questions and WH questions. Yes? The five. Yes, the other five verbs. In total, The ten verbs you have to use the ten verbs. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, no and wh questions. Yes, no questions and wh questions. Okay. Okay. Let us uh, do it. I'm going to ask if um we have some listeners here. Let me see. But I'm going to take um listener, 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 listener. listener. Uh, yes, but you have listener, but you are participating. <laughs> okay, Berta. Um Remberto, are you going to participate? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Valeria, are you going to participate? Yes. Okay, so Berta, Valeria, and Remberto. Okay? Okay. Then the second team goes with uh, um, Osvaldo, Elsie, um, let me see. Jessica, are you going to participate? Aldana? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We have the two. Okay, guys. Let us go and work for a while with these sentences. Equations, of course. Jessica Araceli, are you going to participate? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I didn't include you, but, uh, but I'm going to do it. Wilfredo, are you going to participate? Wilfredo? Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> okay. Entonces, ¿cuáles escogemos? Los que sean más fáciles de, de, de conjugar. Uh -huh. A ver, Rose, quiero ver qué significa. El porque... último. S C U R quiero ver. Eh, podemos utilizar eh, wake, por ejemplo. I wake up early every day. No es uno de los más fáciles de conjugar. Sí, only remember that we are in past in this moment. En past, teacher. In past, sentences in past. Por eso los verbos están in past. Ok, Rose significa... <coughs> Are you sick, Remberto? Yes, teacher, I was very sick two or three days, so I, <laughs> yes, when, when, the, okay. when the weather changed, um, I have sinusitis, so um, oh se me inflaman las córneas y solo respiro por la boca, entonces. Oh my God, yes. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Ya encontré yeah. uno que podríamos hacer con el road. Okay, okay. demole. This road. Manejé cinco horas. I drove five hours. I didn't bring, ¿verdad? En la tuya, en la tercera. I didn't bring, ¿verdad? Your favorite. Uh -huh. Yeah. Your favorite. The last weekend. Cookies. Bueno, en la cuatro. Teacher. En presente y en presente y pasado. ¿Cómo es? Los mismos verbos. Positive Cinco y negativos. Ok. Ok, ok. Ok. Oh, okay. Everything, everything is in past. Ok. All of them in past. But the first ones, affirmative and negatives with the same five verbs. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Cookies. Last. Last. We can't.
mar, me la tira como con ING. Ah, porque estás en un continuo. Ajá, Pensaba. Sí, pasaba continuo. Entonces tiene que decir pensé. Yo pensé que. Ajá. <risa> Yo pensé que, que el pasado continuo. <risa> ah, verdad que está raro. No, hombre, Yo sí, pensé. así es. Yo, Yo pensé... pensé que era fácil estudiar, estudiar. inglés. <risa> Cabal. Ahí está, ahí está. Pero bien raro. ¿Cómo se escribe alumnos? ¿Cómo? ¿Alumnos? Algunos. Alumnos. Um, um, se um, me Students. Student. Student. Es un estudiante, voy a ponerme uno. He taught the best technique. Ve. No, estoy too. haciendo. Y yo estoy haciendo oraciones afirmativas. Yo no <laughs> Ay, Dios. Bueno, vamos a ver. Where? Where? Walk up day mm -hmm. every day. Vale, entonces tenemos, tenemos tres. Tenemos tenemos tres, ¿verdad? Mm. Yesterday about uh -huh. I bought new shoes. New shoes. New shoes. Um, I drove I my, drove car, my car a long time last week. week. Cuatro. Y last week I woke up late every day. Tres tenemos. Por eso nos faltan dos. Nos faltan dos afirmativas. Eh, otro verbo. No sé, tal vez eh, yeah. la otra compañera tiene alguna. Nos falta. A ver. Pero si yo como hay uno que no sé qué son. Tengo que buscarle. Por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Veo, es que yo veo cuatro aquí en el chat. Es que una que yo puse está mal de escrita. ¿La última? No, la última no es la penúltima. Valerie. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Yo creo que no lo acabamos, hay que repetir una. No, nos falta todavía el cut. cut. Ah, sí, es cierto, está listo, uh -huh. Ese es coger. Cut. Eh. 
teacher es como coger cosas. O puedo decir, no. yo cogí el autobús en la mañana. No, no. Es so como atrapar. Atrapar, yes, yes, yes. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo atrapaste esa gripe? No. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it sounds. Uh, in an informal way, we use it. I cut, a, I cut the flu, we say. Ok. Ah, no, pero. Y si lo usamos para usar otra W question, para usar what, por ejemplo, por, ex, mm. por, por ejemplo. Why? Pues sí. Uh -huh. Why did you, you catch the... The flu. The flu. Uh -huh. Ah. Or, or even how, or why. Why when. did you... Why did you... Or when. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, why did you catch? Why did you catch the flu? Uh huh. Why did you catch? Why did you catch? How did you break your arm? Did you find? Mm -hmm. Did you think December is the best month? Where did he teach his techniques? Or I Right. Okay. I drove five hours to come here. I didn't drive five hours. Yeah. And the other thing, how, how did you... Yes, no question. No affirmative, negative. Solo digo yes, no question, y W, question. No, eran 15 en total, creo yo. Ok. Dije. Teacher. Ok. Dije. Mm -hmm. Van a escoger 5 y de los 5 van a ser affirmative and negative questions. Ah, uh, ok. Ok. <laughs> Y con los otros cinco van a ser WH questions and yes no questions. Ok. Ok. okay. Thanks, teacher. Can I, okay, entonces... can I listen to what you already have? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, the affirmative, that's it. All. That's all. Ok. But uh, I don't know if you want listening to right now. Yeah, the affirmative, yes. Ok. okay. So, girls, if you help me, please. Me yeah. ayudan por favor a dictarla. Okay. Ah, okay. Vamos a ella. Yes, I just want sí, to. Sí, la teche quiere escucharlas. Para ver si te hemos cometido algún error o es, vamos sobre la línea. Um... Ok, la primera. Ah. Okay, yesterday I bought Okay, I bought a new pair of shoes. A, a new, new pair. pair of shoes. A new pair pair <clears throat> pair I I, 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 R. 
of shoes. Okay. I drove my car a long time. Okay. Last week, I woke up late every day. Yes. I fought with the traffic this morning. I fought. I fought. No es literal. Okay. My sister rode bicycle. Rode the bicycle. That bicycle last week. Y with. Cuando dicen I fought with. Es W I. T H. El spelling oh. de with. Okay. W I T H. Al revés. <ríe> si es literal, yo peleo con el tráfico para que no me atropellen todos los días. <ríe> es literal, trabajo. ok, ok. Es literal. Ok. Ya, yeah, quítele la H de ahí. Ok. Ajá, y al final de, después de la T. Ahí va. With. Ok. Ahora, estas mismas, ¿cómo las hacen en negativas? Ok. Por ejemplo, if I say, yesterday I bought a new pair of shoes, ¿cómo la hago en negativa? I don't broke new shoes. No, por eso es el ejercicio. It is in past tense. No lo hubieran borrado todo, solo era de, de borrar. Ok. El verbo. El verbo tienen que borrarlo. ¿Por qué? Cuando we are going to use the affirmative statement, the negative statement, we are going to use the auxiliary did. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't buy. Ajá. If I use the auxiliary, the verb goes to the base form. Ya no voy a decir but. I'm going to say but. I did buy a new pair of shoes. Y así todas las demás, ¿ok? Yeah, if you use didn't or did, the verb don't change in yeah, the sentences. Yeah, the verb, yeah. The verb okay. doesn't change, okay. Okay? okay? Thank you, teacher. That's it, teacher. No... Ah, ok, voy a leerlo en el chat, ok, pensaba que aquí, déjeme ver. No, porque lo que pasa es que ahí lo acabas de poner en, en afirmativo y tiene que ser en negativo, I didn't. Negativo, I didn't. I, I didn't. didn't. Ah, ok. I didn't, entonces eh, sería la primera, sería yesterday. I didn't, I didn't buy didn't. a new pair um, of shoes. Uh -huh. Con el yesterday. Yes, yesterday. I didn't buy a new pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yes. Ah, me la puedes preguntar. <laughs> Have you finished? Yes. yes, teacher. Yes, okay. We're going to wait just two more minutes because the other team, it's been hard for them. <laughs> okay. It's okay. hard for, for us too. <laughs> but it is harder for them. More more difficult. Harder. harder. It is more difficult. The most difficult. Es que John Dia estaba leyendo unos Creo que son adjetivos, son esos. Yes. Ah. Superlativos. Ah, ajá, que decía que fast era rápido. Yes. Pero si fast. No decía fast, 
es mm, mucho más rápido. rápido. Ajá. Pero yeah. se me olvida, por ejemplo, había en tres. Sí, es que está el bien. fast, faster, and the fastest. Ah, ah ese, es el ese es el más rápido, no hay comparación. Ese es uno entre todos. Fastest. Y en the good, fastest. best, and better es el otro, no. Good, better, and best. The best. best. Mm -hmm. Exactamente. Tall, tallest. Tall, tallest. ¿Y el otro? The tallest. ¿Y eso qué es? That is the alto super alto. alto. Ah. Alto, ok. Uh, if, if I use comparative, I can say, for example, Oscar is taller than mm -hmm. José. Mm -hmm. Comparo dos. Pero el superlativo, I am going to say, uh, Ramón is the tallest student in the class. Mm -hmm. No lo comparo con los demás, sino que lo saco entre todos y digo, es el más alto. Is the tallest from the class. A mí siempre hay una, que me, hay una que siempre me cuesta la passive voice. Siempre cuando, lo, cuando ah. me lo explican lo entiendo, pero después se me olvida otra vez. Cuando pasan los dos meses, ya no me acuerdo. Hey, but it is not a matter of practice. You should practice on the web. Ajá, porque, por ejemplo, Search. la casa fue pintada por mi abuelo. Mi abuelo yeah. pintó la casa, algo así, ¿verdad? Was Eso painted. Ajá, was Ajá. painted. Ok. The house was painted by my, my grandpa. Mm -hmm. Y the house... Como oh, me tenemos... The, the house was painted by my grandfather. Ajá, uh -huh, that is the passive voice. And my grandfather painted the house. Painted the house, that is the painted active the voice. Ah, uh, okay. That is the active. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have like different structures, but little by little. But the only thing that you need to practice them, otherwise you forget. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think that just one more minute and I'm going to close, okay? Okay. okay. Okay, guys. Team from number team number 1. Uh, we are going to stop in this moment. Try to have your answers, please, okay? Even though if you haven't finished yet, we are going to work some of the exercises in the main room, okay? Team number one. Because team number two, they have already finished. Okay. We are going to come back in this moment. Okay, now can we see or can we listen to what you have done? Okay, can we read? Can we read the positive statements, please? Positive. Okay. I bought a car yesterday. But. I bought. Okay. Bought. I bought a car yesterday. Negative. I didn't buy a car yesterday. Okay, very good. Number two. I, go I woke up late all the last month. Uh -huh. All last month. 
I didn't wake up late all last month. That's good. Number three. I brought your favorite cookies the last weekend. I didn't bring your favorite cookies the last weekend. Okay, good. Number four. I rode my bike in the morning. I didn't ride my bike in the morning. That's it. Number five. I drove I drove five hours to come here. I didn't drive five hours to come here. Okay. Good. Okay, the other team. I would like to listen the affirmative and negative at the same time. Berta's team? Yes. Uh, one. Number one. Yesterday, I, I bought a new pair of shoes. The negative? Uh, wait. Ahí está en la pantalla, compañera. Ya lo compartió la compañera. Sí, lo estoy buscando. Espérate. I didn't buy a new pair of shoes. Ok. Number two. I drove my car a long time. Uh -huh. In negative, I didn't drive my car a long time. Ok, good. Number three. Last week I woke I woke up later every day. Negative. Last week I didn't wake up every late every day. Okay, good. Number four. I fell with the traffic this morning. I didn't fight with the traffic this morning. Okay, the number five. My sister rode the bicycle last week. Negative. My sister don't ride the bicycle last week. Don't. Did did didn't right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, didn't ride the bicycle last week. Okay, before going to read the yes no questions or the WH questions, we are going to um I have that the attendance ready, okay? The first time for the attendance. Uh, let's see. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. I'm here. Okay, Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present, teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Eliset Barrera Hernández. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Ok, Mateo. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. 
Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay. Now we are going to um, see, we are going to, before, before you read your questions, guys, I think that team number one didn't finish with the questions, right? We don't finish. Okay, you didn't, you didn't finish. Okay? No. Didn't. We didn't finish. We didn't finish. Aha, uh -huh, that's it, in past tense. Okay, so we are going to practice here. Just for you to have in your mind the way that we have to work with the WH equations or in the equations in general, right? Now, let's see. Mm. For example, I'm going to show you what we have in the book, this exercise. Let me see, I'm going to tell you on page number 38, from your book, 38, page 38, you have these exercises in your page 38 from your book. Okay. In this one, so we are going to work them together here, the equations, because you couldn't finish. I know that Elsie and um, Osvaldo, you finished, right? But we are going to help the other team in order to understand or to organize better the ideas. I think that that time was uh, the problem for you, okay? But let us see. We have here the simple past information question. These are information mm -hmm. questions. Which are the information questions? Do you remember which are the information questions? The structure. Aha, uh -huh. information questions. Which are those ones? Which is the structure? Okay. Do you remember? Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so it means that we are going to use WH. WH question. Where? Where? Uh -huh. It can be where, it can be when, it can when. be what, why, Just... how, who, different, right? After the WH, what do we have? The, the auxiliary. Okay. The auxiliary. auxiliary. So we have the auxiliary. So we can say what did, and then what do we have? subject that's it we have the subject so we have what did you plus what else what do we have after the verb the verb that's it and the verb and then we have what did you plus complex that's it, plus complement, plus complement. So in this way, we have the general structure for information questions or WH questions. Now, if, if I have the verb do, I need to uh, think about one sentence in which my verb is going to be do. For example, the previous exercise that I did, it was, what did you do yesterday? So I have already done this. What have you do, what did you do yesterday? De acuerdo a la pregunta, I have to write down the appropriate question, right? Si me preguntaron, what did you do yesterday? I need to answer that. What do I have to answer? What do I have to answer? Well, according to the information that they say. So if it is, what did you do? It is a general activity. So I need to list the activities that I did yesterday. And in this way, 
you are going to work with the rest of the exercises. So we have exercise two, three, four, five. So we have the verb go, buy, work, read, and see. So what we are going to do in this moment, we are going to write down the equations and the answers, not only the equations. In this case, we are going to include the answers. Yes? <laughs> Okay. Do you do you get it? That is in your page number. What page did I say? Just page teacher. Thirty-eight. Page thirty-eight. Okay, this is for everyone, right? But anyways, I'm going to wait here. Okay, let us try to do it in an individual way, and then we are going to answer. Okay. Work. We are going to stay here. Work with the exercises. Individually. Answer and question, or only question. Teacher in el in a chat box. Tiene el micro apagado, creo. Yes, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, first, complete the exercise in your book, in your notebook, and then we are going to be writing one by one in the chat box. Okay. Only question. Questions and answers. Uh, I thought I thought I was <laughs> I had answered you, <laughs> but I got my microphone off. I
Just let me know when you finish, please.
Haven't you finished yet? Yes. Have you? Okay. So please, can you write down the w, the WH equation for number one and its answer? Number one. Where did you go? Okay, type it in the chat box. Type it in the chat box. Questions and answer. For number one. Okay, Berta. For number one, it says, where did you go? Which is the verb, Berta? Which is the verb? Go. go. Okay. Yes. But, yes. It, but in the exercise, it says that you have to use the verb do. You use the verb go. In the second exercise, you have to use the verb go. But in the first one, you have to use do. Okay? Where did you go? Me falta la primera. <laughs> Aha. Ahora analicemos the answer for number two. Let's see. That is number two. Where did you go? Está bien. The question it is okay. But what about the, the, the answer? La respuesta es justo as the exercises that you did with the affirmative statements. ¿Cómo tendría que ser la respuesta? I go or I went. Ah, está en pasado, ¿verdad? Yes, if the question is in past, you have to answer in past. So, the answer is, I went, okay? I went to my job, okay? Good. That is for number two. Number one, what about the others? I don't see any other answer. I don't see any other question or even the answer. Type the question mm -hmm. for number one. Bye. Where is bye? Okay. Question for Elsie. It says, when did you do your homework? And the answer is... I did it in the morning. Okay, that's it. I did it in the morning. What about the others? Only Berta and Elsie. What about the others? Okay, Osvaldo, what, okay, what did you eat for breakfast? I ate pupusas. Okay, Osvaldo, the question and the answers are correct. The only aspect is for, is that. In the book, it says that for number one, you have to use the verb do. Right? Yes, Osvaldo. Yes, perdón, es que me distraje un momento. Y la hice la rápida. That's what I, that's what I thought. Uh, we do. 
with do. The verb has to be do. What did you do yesterday night? Uh -huh. And the answer? I I played billiard at night yesterday. Okay. But it is, uh, let me see. It is not billiard. It is, it has its name. It's, I have forgotten, I, I, but I will let you know. But it is not like that. But but it is the sentence goes in the correct way. Okay, now for number two, we have the verb go. Berta has already done it, but she owes me number one. Okay, the rest. Question using go. Why did she go to UK? Ah, she wanted to visit her mother. That is okay, Elsie. What about the others? Number okay. That is number two, but you have already done it. Number two, but you owe me number one. <laughs> Okay, no, and no, no more exercises. Okay, question number three with the verb by. The verb by, okay, number three. Verb by, question. What do you did? Remember by. that is in past. Okay. Okay, with go, Remberto answer, and he says, when did he go to the supermarket? He went in the morning. That is correct. Elsie, what did he buy in the Black Friday? <laughs> he bought a laptop. Okay, good. With work. Get a new message. Okay, Berta, which is the auxiliary for past? What question? The last one that you have done with by. Which is the auxiliary for past? All these exercises are in past. Which is the auxiliary for past? Is it do yeah. or is it did? Uh, entonces es I did. Both. No, in the equation. In the answer, no. Uh -huh. In the equation, because in the equation you have written, what do you buy? And it is not, what do you buy? It is, what did you buy? The answer is correct. I bought a dog. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. <laughs> okay, then. Where did you work? I worked. In Pizza Hut. Yeah, that's the equation, Berta. Where did they work the last week? They worked on a new construction. Okay, number five. Number five. The verb is read. What? She. Thank you. 
How did you read the small letters? I made a big effort. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that you saw me, right? <laughs> okay, what did she uh um Berta, in mm -hmm. your in your questions, what did she read it? Why did you write read it? Es que no lo encuentro en mi listado. <laughs> ah, okay. Entonces está guiando cuál es el 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 pasado. Uh -huh. Pero in the pregunta, you don't need the past tense. Remember that in the equation, what we use is the base form, not the past tense mm -hmm. of the verb. Okay. Okay, so in the equation, it is the base form. You have to say, what did she read? And in the answer is, she read a novel. This is an irregular verb, Berta. Because the present form and the past form, it is exactly the same. The only difference yeah. is that the pronunciation. In past, I say read. I read. In present, I say I read. But it is the <laughs> same written form. Okay, what did she read? She read a novel. Yes, now it is correct. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And finally, we have exercise number six with the verb C. Verb C. C. Okay, let's see what that says. When did they see? Uh, when did they see each other? Okay, so le vamos a agregar el each other. They see in they see each other in the bar. Each other, it is just to make it better, right? Oh, right. But that is okay. But, 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 what about in the answer? Which is the past tense of C? So. <laughs> okay. Because in the answer, you wrote it like if it is in present, but it is not in present. It is in past. Teacher. Yes. Can you see my, my question? I can't. Ay, que dice que lo envié mensaje directo a alguien más. <laughs> ah, ok, it happens, it happens. Que no se... Ok, be sure que dice everyone. Ok. Ok. It, it usually happens, it had happened to me. <laughs> ok, they saw... Okay, I'm going to write it down each other. When I said each other, it is like this. Each other. Uno al otro. Okay? Okay. Okay, each other. Now I can read yours, Elsie. Okay. What did you see? What did you see in that cave? 
I saw some beautiful rocks. Okay, excellent. When did you see a movie? I saw, I saw it at the cinema yesterday. Yesterday goes till the end, Roberto, okay? I saw it, uh, or I saw one at the cinema yesterday. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Now, let me see. Because we have been practicing. <clears throat> now, we are going to make like a practice in an individual way. I'm going to send you the link of this exercise. Let me show you what. I'm going to send you the link of this exercise. It says, all these sentences are in past. All of them have a mistake. Write the sentences correctly. For example, I walked to school yesterday. Dice que todas las oraciones están en pasado, but they have a mistake. So if I read, I walk to school yesterday, is that correct? No. No. Which is the correct form? I went. I... No. Walked. I walked to walked. school. I walked to school yesterday. Entonces, I walked to escribir. school yesterday. Okay, eso es lo que usted tiene que escribir aquí. And then, she didn't help at home last week. Which is the mistake? The verb is that she didn't help at home last week. Okay, yes, because I don't use the past because I have the auxiliary. So she didn't help at the moment last week. And that is what you have to write down in this mo in, in the space that you have there. Do you understand what you have to do? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, now I'm going to share the link for you to complete them all. <laughs> You're falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Rem Remberto say, I always hear. I say, I are <laughs> always have dream. I am, you... I am always sleepy. Sleeping, yeah. Sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Oops. Oh my God. I, I did a mistake. Let me see if I can do it again. It is because I... Let me see. I'm going to stop sharing because I made a mistake. Let me see if I do it. Let me see if it is this one. Okay, yes. Takasi, Elsie, don't worry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send it now to the chat box. I think that like, I could get it. Okay, can you see it? Can you click on it? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, so this is the first exercise of correcting mistakes. Correcting mistakes. So let us complete them and then please the screenshot in the chat box.
Okay, Berta. We got only two correct. I think it is spelling. It is okay. a spelling. It is a spelling. For example, uh, visit. It is not like that. For example, curry. It is not like that. For example, didn't. It is not like that. So you have some problems of spelling. It's my phone. It's loco. Hace lo que él quiere. Okay. Yo escribo una cosa y él pone otra. <laughs> okay, Jessica, you say that you got six out of ten. Okay, six out of ten. Okay, this is result. So you've got, I don't know how many, um, eight out of 10? Eso no lo entendí, teacher. Okay, did look you after your dog yesterday? Okay. Did you did you after your talk yesterday? Okay. <laughs> Teacher también en la plataforma a veces uno escribe las oraciones y no. No las acepta. A veces. A veces. Hay que darle un espacio al final o no hay que ponerles el punto al final. Pero a veces si no le you pone el punto try. no se la agarra. Yeah, but there are some others in which if you don't write the, the, the period, that is the, the, the correct. So you have try, you can try both writing the period or not writing the period. That is that is the problem that we have. Yeah. Del midterm, la dejé porque me aburrí. <laughs> But we have to, we have to complete them, yes, uh, Elsie. La, la escribí de todas las maneras posibles y no. Así que dije, next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you see that we have different troubles when we are trying to identify the mistakes from the exercises. Now we are going to do something similar because I, I can see that you have some difficulties for identifying the mistakes. So we are going to do, let me see. But we are going to do it together because I think it, you can help each other. Let me see. I'm going to share this.
Okay. Take your screenshot, your screenshot to these uh, five statements. There are questions, there are statements. Do you have your screenshot ready? Ready. Ready? Yes. Okay, so let us try to correct the mistakes of this together, right? Let's see. Let's see. And but the... first, but first, first, let me see. We have only three. No, we are not going, we are not going, I'm not sending you to the break rooms, okay? We are going to do it here. The first one, it says, I feel it excited before my holiday. Which one do you think is the mistake in this first exercise? The verb. The falta del auxiliar. No, just feel. Feel is a sentiment. Okay, so it is. Is it's wrong. It, is this correct? No, right? No, it is no, wrong. No, it's not correct. Which is a past a form of feel? Um, Which is the correct form? I feel maybe feel F E L D maybe okay. F E L T. Yes, that is the first one, and then. That is the correction, that is a mistake. So the sentence has to be, I felt excited before my holiday. Now it is correct. Mm -hmm. Number two, I didn't be at school yesterday. I didn't be at school yesterday. Be, the verb be, the verb to be. Aha, uh -huh. what happened? No puede ir con el D? No, it cannot. Está en present, debería ser pasado. I did was. Pero si yo digo did was, estoy haciendo lo mismo. Uh, I am including the verb to be with did. I didn't be at school yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, according to the context, what do you think the change might be? I was at school yesterday. Negative? I wasn't. Ah, okay. So that is the option. I wasn't I wasn't at school yesterday. Number three. Where were they at home tonight? Falta el auxiliar, el did. ¿Por qué? No. W question. No es una WH. Uh, yes, it is a, a, no, it is not a WH question. No. It is no, not a where. WH. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, it's where. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Were they at home tonight? El verbo. This is uh, this is the verb. Is the verb to be? Check the mm -hmm. whole sentence.
Don't you get it? No. No. Okay. Where they where to be they el where se conjuga con they yes okay where they at home mm -hmm. ah tonight ah <laughs> what happened with tonight it's ayer it's present es ahora esta noche ah uh -huh. this pasado okay this is present and we need something in past. So what might be the correct time expression? Last yes. night. It can be last night, it can be yesterday, it can be a day before yesterday, well, something in past, right? Next one. We not did like the film. We didn't. Yes, we did not. No, not did. Okay. So we just change the order here. And then yes. we say, we did not like the film. Next one. Did they go to the disco last night? I know. It's, the <laughs> it's, it's the same. It's change day and go. Did they go? Did they go to the disco last night? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it correct. <laughs> I didn't yeah. read it correct. <laughs> okay. So, did they go. go to the disco last night? Yes or no? Okay. 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 Ahora. Just the last one. This is, these are the last exercise now. Okay. Ahora, escríbanme la forma correcta ustedes ahí en el chat box. Number one. Number one. I'm going to, I'm going to, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. In the chat box, number one, please. Which is the correct form for number one? Ay, se me perdió. Aquí estoy. The... She was... Me equivoqué. Okay, Berta, we have two options there. The she was at school yesterday. It is not correct. The second one, the she was at school last week. It is not correct. Something, something. Okay, remember con el cruzar. Remember el cruzar. Ahí tengo el auxiliar did y el was en una misma. Is it correct? No. Okay. 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 Did she go? Did she go at school last week? Did she go at school last week? Indeed. 
Dan tratado de acomodar. But it is not. I'm going to tell you. The verb is the verb to be. Okay. ¿Y cómo hacemos las preguntas con el verbo to be? Was. Was. Uh, she. At school last week. Okay. Now it is. ¿Cómo? Was. <laughs> was. She. At school last week. Was she at school last week? Cuando vean el didn't be, quien tiene que ser ahí es el to be, no el did. El did ahí está tratando de engañarles. Ok, number two. My best friend were upset this morning. Write down the correct one. My best friend were upset this morning. Okay, yes. My best friend was upset. Was, not where. Number three. Did you go to London the month past? This is easy. This is easy. Did you go to London the month past? No. <laughs> Ahí el verbo es go. It is not the verb to be. Okay. Did you go to London the last month? Oh, but if you want to use the, the one that you have there, you can say, did you go to London the past month? Okay. Number four, I didn't went shopping yesterday. Ahí está fácil. I didn't went shopping yesterday. Okay, that's it. I didn't go shopping yesterday. And the last one, I read this book ago a year. I read this book ago a year. This is mainly the problem is in the time expression. Here the problem is in the time expression. Yeah, that's it. I read this book a year ago. That is what we have. Okay, guys. Good. Okay, thank you, Elsie. Thank you, Berta.
with this, we are going to finish. So this has been uh, the simple past tense unit. We have studied the yes, no equations, the WH equations. We have studied the affirmative statements and the negative statements. And even we have practiced um, pronunciation, right? Okay, guys. So we are going to stop here and just answer for the attendance. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Okay. Hoy sí, acá sí, él sí. Okay. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Maña. Good night. Ya tenemos sueño, tío. Yes. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Okay, Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Carlina Loreni Navarro. Present. Genia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kenia Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo, Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda García Escobar. Gabriela Escobar. Ok, guys. Perdón, teacher, me falló el intro. Ok, Roberto. Me... Ok, guys. Dije que sí, pero que no me escucho. Ok, yeah, I didn't, I didn't. Ok, good night. Good night. <laughs> See you next good week. Night. Good night. Good weekend. Bye. Bye. So do you. Bye-bye.